Hey everybody, right on here for another episode of Europa Community Challenge. Uh, so in the last episode, I got pretty thoroughly harassed by mechanoids. Uh, they dropped into the main part of my base, they burrowed through some walls here, and uh, uh, where else did they... I don't know, they, they just... oh, here, they attacked me from everywhere. Uh, they harassed me unbelievably, um, to the point where... I'm actually quite worried about base security, um, and a lot of you actually had some pretty good feedback on that. Um, so, let's see. Uh, some of you said maybe think about a second kill box, and that's probably not that bad of an idea. Uh, I've been getting slammed uh, by these these mechanoids. Um, they're hard to predict what direction they come. Oh, let's not eat raw. Glad I caught that first. Um, it's hard to predict what they come from sometimes uh, they kind of just cross leave those potatoes alone or rice whatever they are come on let's go cook um, so second kill box wouldn't be the worst idea um, yeah and there I've got some other ideas as well sort of in the works and I will uh, I'll go over some of the suggestions that you all had uh, let's, let me slow down time while I do that. Um, so, Pontus Pilot said, uh, yeah, maybe a second kill box towards the back end of the base. Um, so they, I can lure them away from hitting my electrical infrastructure. Um, uh, yeah, that's a pretty good idea. Uh, Jay Stank suggested a sort of way to redesign the deadfall traps. I always design my traps like this. Um, they might be a little bit more expensive with the steel doors, but an invader will hit every single trap. Um, which is, I feel, the advantage of this uh, setup. Um, uh, Red Ink asked, and here actually I'm going to uh, test out your your theory here. If I delete my stockpiles, um, when I go to Caravan, will I only see the items that are in a stockpile? That's a very good question. Uh, and I believe the answer is yes. No, it's not. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, it's showing everything on the map. So yeah, as far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong, but as far as I know, there's really no way to hide anything from a stockpile, I guess. Um, that this stockpile here is, or these items here are kind of like stuck being displayed. I can't forbid them. I can't unstockpile them. It doesn't really matter what I do. Uh, they will always... Uh, be visible. And what I can do is I can forbid access to the items, you know, wall it off or something. And then it will say that my pawn can't access it, which is the kind of the closest I can figure out how to stockpile haul easily. Um, yeah, I wish there was a better way. Uh, honestly, I don't, I don't really see a reason for not allowing hauling traditional hauling of um, of materials just just stack up as much as cross can carry and haul it all on back that seems pretty reasonable to me um, and you know that might be get at that might get added sometime in the future by Tynan himself. All right, so we are just sort of hauling things around, not being all that productive. Um, we can haul more slag, but I'd rather just start smelting it, I guess. But I think before I do that, let's check my needs. Yeah, I'm good for a, I'm good for a trip up north. Now, how heavy are these high explosive shells? They are pretty heavy, actually. I'm might be able to caravan them back. Let me see. High explosive. Mm, I can't carry them all. But what I can do is turn this trip of three tricks trips, because there's more than uh, 75 steel into two trips. So that's what I'll do. I guess right after I eat a meal on the corpses. So here's what you do. You just... Uh, Carry as much as you can, and then load up a hull. 
All right, so that I can carry seven. So now I have seven in my hands, and then I can go ahead and haul the steel. So I'm carrying way more weight than I should otherwise be able to carry, and then this here is just one more trip rather than two more trips. That cuts it down. Um, and, it, it, you know, the trips, caravan trips like this are um, easier because there's so few items I have to move. So that's fine. So if I hit caravan cancel, I can bring my pawn over here, just drop the shells, and it looks like, looks like I'm going to go rest at 6 in the morning. All right. That's that's fine. I need to get back on a somewhat of a normal uh, sleep schedule. So Gavin Pate and uh, Gerda Hessel said that they were thankful that I'm leaving the human leather alone. Not going to profit on it whatsoever. Um, yeah, I mean, in all of my playthroughs, I could play like 100% efficiently and just try to win. Um, but I like to throw in a little flavor, so I like to try to bury all the corpses, I like to draw some sort of moral lines, I guess is what you could call it, um, so that we're not just ruthlessly, emotionlessly uh, trekking towards the ship exit, uh, that I have some sort of uh, guidance here in terms of ethics. At least that's like how I like to play. Um, all right, so I think we're going to do the last little trek now. Um, yeah, so let's get back up there and load. Load four more shells and the rest of the steel. Looks like my alpaca wool uh, took is wearing out. I think I have a spare toque down here. Let me uh, let me check. Yeah, I have a poor one, um, but that's obviously going to be high on my buying list. Either buying materials to make one or buying one itself. All right, so I'm going to pause the game and do another little caravan. So cross and high explosive shells four, and then we grab the shells. We grab the steel make two trips into one and I might actually be able to do that with slag and bodies too depending on my carry weight um, it's too bad that bionic parts don't increase your carry weight you would think they would but I don't think they do correct me if I'm wrong but I really don't think they do I think it's 35 no matter what all right so now that we have that cancel carry and forming and we are still carrying shells around. Let's drop those shells. We don't need high explosive shells in our body. And once again, we're only getting to sleep at 3 in the morning, which is making a normalized sleep schedule a little tricky to achieve. Um, and that's, that's, that's mostly my fault. Uh, so a few of you have wondered why I haven't used more of the Plasteel, and it's because I believe that Plasteel is actually a very, well, it's a very expensive and very rare material that'll need for shipbuilding. And if I use a lot of it up now, um, I'm not going to have it later for when I uh, I more desperately need it. So I'm going to go ahead and start um, uh, research here. How dark is it here? Okay, it's really dark. Let me try to reinstall this heater right on next to cross for a little bit of light. So now it's lit. And the first research I'm doing is carpet making because I have all of this uh, cloth here. I have 440 of it. Um, and that will allow me to carpet up a, uh, a pretty decent chunk of the base for the purpose of keeping dirt out and making the rooms nicer. Um, combat supplier. Okay. I can deal with that. Sometimes combat suppliers have, uh, have clothing. Sometimes not. All right, uh, steel knife I'll keep. Slate club I'll sell. High explosive shells I'll sell. I don't really EMP shells. Wow, they don't sell for very much. Um, slate club gone. Bows gone. 
really crappy bolt action. Uh, you know, these aren't selling for enough for me to bother getting rid of them. I might as well just melt them down into steel. Uh, the some of these, however, are worth selling, and I'm gonna sell all but two. Yeah. Um, and they don't really have any clothing for me. They have helmets. Uh, I think I'm good with that. Actually, I have a a pretty decent amount of silver, or uh, materials that you know things that I could sell into silver. So I'm a little excited to be gave, visited by uh, exotic goods. I mean, that's really what I'm banking on right now. Um, all right, so some more comments that you guys made. Um, let's see, Clockwork Minion asked, uh, said I should do plasteel chest table plasteel walls and i mentioned that yeah I, i'm worried that the ship that i'm going to use eventually um same with troy um everyone's suggesting i use more of the plasteel but i'm kind of saving it up so that i can either make plasteel turrets which i think are the most important or um or you know the ship and then gerda once again or not once again but gerdon asked will i survive will i find a partner will he fall in love I hope so. You know, I'm hoping that uh, that I at least find uh, a a duo partner here, as it were, um, because surviving here is not easy, and uh, there's certainly a lot of slag to be melted down. I mean, there's so much slag on this map now. Uh, there's quite a bit of mining that needs to be done. So if I got like a pretty good miner as a partner, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, I think what I'm going to do actually is just go ahead and cancel all this hauling of slag. Because once we're smelting it, we'll just grab it as a unneeded basis. Ooh, Wanderer joins. Speaking of which, I uh, guess I should zoom out and just double click rather than drag boxes. All right, so is Liam any good? Uh, yeah, actually, Liam's okay. I could uh, I could actually keep Liam. Um, he's only 15, uh, and I really have no idea how he got here but he has enough warm clothing to get himself to the base uh he's carrying a toque let's force wear it yeah i suppose i'll keep liam uh so he's not much of a shooter um but he does know medicine which is going to be super helpful and he's a good miner um and pretty decent at intellectual but not not as good as as uh, Cross here, but I can put him on mining initially. Well, that was weird. I didn't uh, didn't know what was going on there. All right, so I am not warm enough. Let's see if I can just ah, uh, you know, I don't want to wear out the toque. I'll wear out the parka and have him drop his toque. All right, is so the temperature range acceptable? It is way more. Um, let's give him the bolt action rifle. get rid of the slate club uh and then of course the issue is where to house him bed wise um so i think what i'll do is i'll initially just put a wooden bed in the lab um and that's going to be a bedroom a normal quality it's fine all right so liam here is patient because he was sickly as a child I guess uh, so he's going to clean and I think I'd rather have him although I'm a little worried about the wealth that I'll accumulate doing this I'll have him level up his mining on the sandstone so let's remind him that we want sandstone because he's a fast learner and passionate in mining um, burning passion in mining. So I think he's he's going to level up in mining pretty quick here. Um, he's a pretty good... I mean, other than the hypersensitivity, which I could probably get a foil helmet, um, he's a pretty good pawn. And he seems to be getting chunks out of, like, every single one which is uh 
pretty good. No, well, not every single one, but a lot of them. Well, maybe it was just luck. Um, which also makes me think I'm going to want a stone cutting table because this is... I'm going to actually get a pretty decent amount of um, stone chunks out of this. Uh, enough to warrant... Um, let's have you haul this back. Enough to warrant, uh, you know, uh, a table. Where to put the table, however, that's a different issue. Um, as you can see, I've... Uh, I guess I could put it here. I don't have a lot of good good spots for objects anymore. I've kind of filled up the base. I do have this space here, but it's kind of outdoors. I could wall it up. That's always a possibility, but but uh, I'm gonna resist walling it up as long as I can. This is just more materials I have to I have to use up. So first things first, uh, a little bit of the restrictions. Um, so he's already defaulted to basically what I wanted because I deleted all the other uh, settings. So I guess that's fine. He can't go too far astray. Alright, so Cross here is going to build his battery. Or disturbing Liam's sleep. I wonder how they like each Oh, they don't even have a relationship yet. It's as if they don't know each other. Alright, so he's going back to the sandstone. We're almost done with the carpeting. Uh, but now the extra food tables for rice will definitely come in handy. Uh, obviously, I have room for one more table. Uh, but I don't want to put it there until I need it. It will a slow everything down in here because it will be, you know, like a, a an object that is somewhat impassable, and then b you know pull more power. Wouldn't be the worst idea though. All right, so carpet making is done, 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 done. Come on, done. Yes. Um, so let's go ahead and start flooring that up. So first off, I'm just going to remove this slate floor because we're going to want it as a building material, and although we do that manually when we um, carpet things I'd rather queue it up like this all right I got all but one of them guess I could have been a little bit more patient and got the last one all right now floors I think I'm gonna go with cream carpets because it kind of matches uh, the, the surroundings the base and all that Uh, we are back to consuming rice, so let's remedy that. And this will be the last of our meat, obviously. We are uh, dwindling. Now, if we get a bulk goods trader, I have 300 silver and some other random stuff to sell. Maybe we can buy some meat. Um, so you have finished mining that node out. Having another... Oh, okay. So you haven't even started on the other one. All right, and that's the last of the high-quality stuff, the fine meals. Liam's going to go back out there and dig at some sandstone, and then eventually I can... Oh, let's have him turn around. He's supposed to be sleeping. We'll try to adhere to the sleep schedule a little bit better. Get the pawns asleep roughly when they should. Now, of course, this wooden bed here only has a rest effectiveness... Of 100%, whereas this is 110%. So cross recovers from being tired a little bit faster, and I might want to equal that out with another um, superior bed. I don't want to dig too far into my wood supply, though, um, which is why I've been resistant on doing that. Now, if it was to make another kill box over here. Um, I don't know. I'd really have to think about how it'd be laid out. Maybe something like that. Move plans, not write them. And... Yeah. 
Something along those lines. I'll have to still, still brainstorm that. I'm not, I'm not certain that's how I want it. But uh, one thing I'm going to do with uh, some of these sleep blocks is to close up the holes here. Close up the corners. Because they've been problematic. Uh, the mechanoids have been cutting through them. I, I don't like that. So that will be my first little project. Um, so this is a much, it's a decent bedroom now. And, uh, ooh, a mad animal, okay. Where's Liam? Is he gonna be left alone by this animal? Probably. All right, go, go attack the gun, that's fine. No, all the way to the gun. All right, well, we needed more meat, so here we are. We got it, a little bit more. Liam is now hauling the chunks into place. So what I think I'm going to do here is uh, just awkwardly expand my dumping stockpile so that we can haul in, what was that, six up? Yeah, haul in some more chunks and whatnot. I don't really care what it looks like. It's not a big deal what it looks like to me. All right, so that's a few more meals. Uh, I guess that means I should probably check the map for snow hair because there was one out there I uh, I didn't know about it's kind of I mean it's the warmest it's ever gonna be at negative 70 no I don't really see anything else which is probably a good thing to be honest all right so now if I wanted to do some more flooring I'm gonna cream carpet uh, the other lab bedroom and then I can tr try to get the rest of the insides depends on how much more cloth I end up having Liam here minor break risk but that's just because you're hungry we can remedy that with a nice meal. So he's just hauling all these sandstone chunks and then eventually we'll build the, uh, the cutter table and, uh, oh, come on. And then we'll, we'll have enough, uh, we'll have more more building materials. It's kind of a weird object to build because I do have an extraordinarily limited amount of stone blocks, but I might as well. There's oh exotic goods. Okay, okay. This is um this is pretty much what I was waiting for because we have a boatload of scyther blades. Uh, I can buy a bionic eye out of that, which is pretty awesome. Um, that we're almost breaking even here. Um, so I got to look at what else I want to buy. Maybe I'll buy a little gold. And then I'm going to install a right bionic eye with normal meds. Oh, we have a raid of mechs. Three scythers. Okay. This is a pretty good amount of silver, as you can see. I will, if I get visited by a bulk goods trader, I'll be able to profit off that. All right, so let's give you some more armor. All right, what are you attacking? Limestone wall, steel wall, plus steel turret. I think once I take a shot at them, they'll uh, they'll retarget Liam. Uh, 
That's what I'm hoping. All right, cross. It's time for you to get up. Let's toss on a vest. Attacking power conduit. Where is exposed power conduit? I don't even know. Over here, maybe? Liam is waiting for you guys. For you enemies. So keep coming. I guess I didn't need the rear facing... Whoa, that was weird again. I didn't need the weird facing, uh, rear facing wall. Oh yeah, you can attack that. I'm actually okay with that. Alright, come on, Scythers. Really? You're gonna, you're gonna bottleneck there? What, are they not even moving? That is weird stuff. Alright, here we go, here we go. Here they come. Alright, one's down. What, are they getting smart? Yeah, well, if they were smart, they wouldn't be attacking the most worthless part of the base. Alright, now you're attacking cross. Yes. All the way in. Oof. I kind of saw that coming. Alright, cross. You can patch yourself up. Shot in the hand. Liam, get yourself out of there. That was a little sloppy of me. I needed to lure the Scythers. They were being annoying, but... Now that they're lured, I can keep Liam safe. Uh, let's go ahead and... Allow Liam to do a little bit... Well, maybe not the smithing crafting. But a bit of everything else. Not much sense in restricting him for no reason. Let's patch yourself up with nothing. All right, another one down. And last one down. Now, I think I still have the exo exotic goods in orbit. So as soon as Cross heals himself, I'm going to try to remove those blades. Although, the exotic goods people didn't really have anything left for me to buy. But let's uh, ignore that fact at the moment. is not quite as nice as it needs to be. Come on. Why can't I right click to clean? Liam. You won't clean there? Sometimes it's hard to like click on stuff. Of course I'm trying to order the stool around right now. Alright, so let's haul this in before that exotic goods go bye-bye. And sell this off because you never know when you're going to get another uh, opportunity. So they don't really have anything uh, for me to buy. So I'm going to buy uh, 40, oops, numlock, 46 or 44. So I have a nice round 50 gold. Of course, I have that whole note I can mine. And then I'll buy uh, whatever I can for Plasteel. And this is why I'm saving up my Plasteel. Plasteel is, like, super expensive. Um, and not something I, uh, I really want to waste.
And maybe, oh, and the Exoticus just left. Maybe not put the Exotic Guy, or Bionic Eye, Exotic Eye, Jesus, uh, like out in the open. That would be helpful. Hauling everything outside, and done. Cross here didn't go to sleep, did he? Oh, he's about to. Alright, I don't think we need another refugee. It's not a contest, I'm fine keeping Liam. Now, having that hurt hand, I, uh... Kind of harvested very poorly. But I'll turn off the tables until I'm ready to resow. See, even with one little bit of dirt, it's still a decent bedroom, which is nice. Oh, okay, you're friends now. Even though you're playing horseshoes while he's asleep. Hey, he's your friend. Don't let me tell you how to be a friend. Cross here is... Oh, you're still resting. You're still sleeping. I thought he was resting for the injury. That was a pretty bad injury, to be honest. Um, so we can't operate because of why? There. Now we can operate. But let's uh, go ahead and reinstall this lamp before we operate. I don't think you need all three meds there, Liam. You need just one of them. Now Cross is a better shooter as a result. As he has a bionic eye. Let's move this lamp. I can't wait until things are carpeted up a bit more. Getting these these bedrooms constantly dirtier is kind of annoying. So you have 135 carpet left. So I have enough to do about like that. Liam here is pretty handy. He's going to be able to do, will be able to do almost twice the work. He's not quite the worker that Cross is, but he's close. Alright, Cross, it's time to get up. And that was another raid that went more or less more or less off without a hitch. So I'm happy about that. Alright, so this lab now is slightly impressive. Nice. So Liam's bedroom will be slightly impressive, which is uh, a huge improvement, I would say. Now it might be a little tricky to try to grow more well, let's see. Let's just go ahead and grow more cotton. I do have some food stockpiles. About a thousand stockpiles, so... Uh, it could bite me back in the butt of running low, but I, I don't think it will. But I have hit a point here where I need to start queuing up simple meals instead of fine meals. Because I am out of meat. And I think what I'll do is I'll keep... I will not... Um, I'll probably concrete up everything else. And just put the carpets where carpets are needed for nice rooms. I don't really actually need to put the hydroponic room... Nice area, but I think... Uh, well, I don't want them to live in a barracks. So if I remove the doors, it'd become a lot more spacious, but then I'd also... Um... Okay, so here we will allow simple meals. 
He's obviously hauling. Hauling meals that far is kind of silly. Alright, so they're just, they're becoming closer and closer friends, which is great. I do have some, uh, armor and whatnot that I obviously, uh, I need to get rid of. And toques. Uh, so let's see. Gear. Armor. Toque. Oh, no, I need to keep the toque on cross. Because he's not wearing a parka. Um, why is it not showing me the pawns at the top? I must have hit something. Ooh, an eclipse. Big whoop. I'm mostly, mostly wind. So we have almost no cloth left, but what I'm going to start doing is some quick and nasty concrete. It will use up a lot of our steel, but it's going to cause a lot less dirt to get everywhere. And I'm tired of having everything constantly dirty. Uh, and I don't really mind, like what will happen is right near the entrances, Uh, maybe cancel. Right near the entrances here, that's where it will most likely get dirty, um, as they're dragging the dirt in, and then it will stay cleaner in the insides. So that's, that's a, that's a big old flooring job here, but eventually it will pay off. Of that I am certain. A lot cleaner of a base. Cleaner bedrooms without having to constantly right click clean. All right, uh, how show pawns? I wanna show pawns. Why did my pawns disappear? Um, I guess I'll figure this out. Well, you guys will probably tell me why I have my pawns hidden. I probably hit some, some hot key that I, I don't know about. Stupidly hit a hotkey. And of course, the movement speed of this base will skyrocket as well, because we were previously running around on ice, which is slow. And now that we have concrete, um, concrete move speed, if you check it, oh, well, if you mouse over it, it's 100%. So we'll be able to dart around the base a lot more rapidly. Okay, and there goes our cotton. Bye-bye, cotton. Liam here still has his armor on. Which is something I need to remedy. So I disabled the pawn bar. Yeah, there we go. Now I have it back. Must have accidentally clicked that when I was trying to hit beauty. I fixed it. I'm so very proud of fixing it without needing you guys to, to tell me what I did. All right, so we've just about, yeah, we've just finished off uh, flooring up everything. I don't think I'm going to replace the wall here, uh, because if this sets on fire, I can't have access to that that little part. Um, all right, so what I'll do is I'll take cross off of mining. I don't think I want actually all that gold and silver yet. I just don't have the. Um, I, I'm not ready for that level of uh, 
of wealth. But if Liam wants to clean up all this rubble and stuff, um, power to him. I guess I just queued up a haul of all of the steel, though. But we can do a bit of that. And I can keep these areas a little nicer. Clean up the map of all the dirt. It seems pointless, but having a nice, clean map will allow me to spot snow hare and polar bears and enemies and items a lot easier than having to filter out, oh, that's just junk. Alright, uh, what I'm going to do right now is break down these mechanoids, because they're kind of just hanging out in the sun here. And, uh, going to cause them to uh, degrade. No need for that. We could break them down quite nice. So as you can see, the bedrooms here are staying a lot uh, cleaner as a result. If there is to be uh, filth pulled in or created, it will generate around the doors where the steel meets ice. Um, so it's not likely to get all the way into the bedrooms, which that way I don't have to um, obsessively clean anything. It will just sort of take care of itself, uh, which is... And then, of course, the move speed is phenomenal. I kind of forgot how slow uh, ice was. But now that I'm bulleting around the map at, like, top speed, um, I have got to say I'm very happy with the move speed difference. All right. And then I also said I wanted a stone cutter table, which is a... Well, maybe I'll make it out of steel. I don't want to use all my... Uh, wood that way. So as you can see, yeah, the, the dirt's mostly accumulating near the doors, which was to be expected. Now we can go ahead and make stone blocks. I think what I'm going to do is drop a little standing lamp. Oh, I can't drop it there. I'll just drop it next to the, uh... It'll light up the uh, work area a bit. So anything that's uh, dirty or filthy out here, I can clean up with Liam's help. Nice clean map. Ooh, bulk goods, that's what we want. That is so much what we want. All right, let's go call them. Oh, that's very lucky. All right, so let's see what we have here. I can buy meat off the bulk goods, and maybe I will. Just for some nicer, uh, some nicer, you know, meals and whatnot. Um, sandstone blocks. Hmm. Well, I'll keep them. Uh, synth red t-shirt. This tattered parka. That parka we can get rid of. Do you have toques that I could use? Not that I see, unfortunately. Plasteel row of bed. Wow, that's a nice bed. Really expensive, but a nice bed. Um, all right. Now I have to be careful what I buy here. Because obviously I'm going to want to buy like double strand and yeah, but that wouldn't be, um, that wouldn't honestly be all that smart. So this cotton here is not very grown. I'm just going to go ahead and replant rice and buy, buy the flooring I need. Um, so cream carpet. We need 70 of it, so I'll just go ahead and buy the 70 cotton cloth. Um, always going to top out on components, because I don't have a component bench, and I might not ever make one. Um, and then buy some steel, buy some wood. Uh, 
whoops, accidentally minimized my game. And I think I'll top out buying every little last piece of steel I can afford. It's a whole lot of steel. Steel for me is really not a renewable resource, so there's good reason why I, uh, I cherish it as much as I do. Now I haven't really redesigned my kill boxes yet. That's uh, to be done soon. Uh, I have a bunch of granite blocks, so it is possible to, to sort of lay out a decent granite kill box here. For really not that expensive. Um, and then, just like my other one, put steel doors here. pretty decent little layout. I don't know if I have all the granite I need for that, but I have most of what I need. Um, and I guess that's what matters. So I've made the cream carpet here. Um, and as you can see, most of the dirt is staying out of our bedrooms as a result. I think what I could do with Liam here is uh, just temporarily prioritize him on clean. Um, peace talks opportunity. Well, that's nice. And that's going to get actually a lot of the weird rock rubble outside cleaned up. Um, seems a bit pointless, I realize, to uh, clean that stuff, but I want it cleaned and that, that's what matters. Ooh, cross filled at something. Yikes. Oh, because you're getting hypothermic. Alright, well, you're going to have to work a little bit slower, but at least I won't wear out this toque. Uh, that toque's pretty much already, already all the way worn out. So we might have enough granite blocks to finish this off. I haven't actually run the numbers. Uh, you don't really need a toucan either, do you? Let's not wear one out if we don't need to. All right, and consuming rice is a big no-go. So let's go ahead and cook. But maybe we will... Uh, close these doors. I don't know why they stayed open. I'm probably to blame, but... Alright. So we have 18 left. Yeah, so we don't ha quite have enough for this. Um, so we'll make the remainder out of... Sleep. Pretty close, though. It'd be interesting to see him clean up the whole map. Okay, we're eating raw. I didn't catch that before it was too late. But let's crank out some regular meals so we don't continue that trend. We're also going to want to move that wood. Alright. So a lot of these dirty spots here are getting all tidied up. Huh. There's sandstone on the ground. 
where that was. Where the meteorite was. So the meteorite like temporarily creates... Interesting. It like imprints material into the ground. I hadn't realized. Well, eventually that will probably get snowed over. Um, that's interesting. So there should be, yeah, flooring here as well. I'm almost done with the, uh, the other kill box back. Liam is still cleaning up the map. And there we should be done with the walling. We have this nice kill box. And I think what I'll do is use some of the steel that I have now for four traps over there. I still, of course, have these bodies up here. Um, I forget who said it, but one of you suggested that I just bury them in place. Uh, let's see. Who was it? So I can accredit you that idea. Um, what just broke down? Heater. Uh, okay. Uh, Jordan Walker said that, uh, yeah, maybe I want to just bury them in place. Um, and I think I'm going to start doing that because it's just so much manual labor to haul them. I'll haul their clothing, but not the bodies. But actually, one thing I wanted to check, actually, let's before that I do that, is go ahead and form caravan. Oh, Liam can't carry very much, can he? Um... Yeah, human corpses are like way too heavy for me to ever caravan without animals. I kind of expected that to be the case, but... Alright, let's haul this wood. Yeah, that works. And this is a decent room now, uh, because I carpeted it up. So working in it won't drive our pawns batty. Let's get this whole slag. Yeah, get it all done. While you're up here, where are you going to bury this corpse? I have a grave down here? Oh, I do. Alright. I didn't know that. Now, if I... Let's see. If I really want to power this... Power turrets over here. I'm going to run a redundant wire around where it is safe. Like that. I think that's probably the way to go. Oh, we got a little bit of filth here. We're getting better about keeping things clean now, but there will always be a little filth. I'm pretty satisfied with the uh, with how this episode turned out. I mean, really, chiefly, it was like the big thing was waiting for. Exotic goods and then bulk goods. And the combination of the two would allow me to expand the base in quite a spectacular way. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, how far is this guy? Chris. Let's strip him. Will I even get there in time? I don't know. It's too bad I got a bionic eye and not bionic legs. Yes, I will get there in time, I think. Yep. Because 
robotic legs would certainly help in this scenario. Being able to run quicker in all this deep snow. And I think I'll just continue the theme of plopping a turret um, just right out in the middle. I know it's not the most tactical, but it's it's what I'm doing. Uh, and then I'm actually going to move this one back a little. Liam the Clean Freak. Let's have you go ahead and haul the pants in. And we will add a uh, home area over you. That's another non hostile berry. Uh, so I think we're starting our graves out here now. Whose blood is this? Blood of Chris. How did Chris's blood get all over there? I do not know. That's a real head scratcher. Alright, so I wonder if I'm growing enough food. I guess I'll keep an eye on it. I might need more tables. But if I need more tables, I'm in for quite an extensive base redesign, I think. Because I don't want another light. I want to be able to use one light for many tables. Which means um, sort of redesigning the layout here. So that I can have more tables in a room. Which is kind of a big deal. And I don't obviously don't want to have to deal with that quite yet. Yeah, impressive bedroom. It's, it's nice. Uh, one thing I could do is install another little stool here. Is this a... Yeah, plastic turret. Okay, just making sure I didn't queue up a, a regular one. That would not be so good. It'd break pretty quick. Alright, we're almost done. We just need one arm load of plasteel and we're good. Now this will flick on and off at will. So you're cleaning up the blood, and then I suppose you'll bury the body. Go ahead and bury him. We're burying him in the right spot? No, we are not. But if I haul him first, we'll bury him correctly. Or we won't. Um, really? You really are insistent upon burying him in the wrong spot. What's wrong with these graves? There we go. Jesus. That was uh, way more effort than it should have been.
clean it up snow. I'm actually surprised that it just doesn't snow over the rock rubble. Like, why does it persist? Maybe it just doesn't snow very often here. Or it says it's snowing, but it's not accumulating. I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but um, what I do know is I'm surprised that all the filth that I've accumulated on this map isn't just being dealt with, um, you know, by the snow. Uh, so I guess with the extra manpower, I can go ahead and bury these bodies correctly. I suppose that's not too much of an inconvenience. I am just about out of time, though. Um, so I think without a further ado, I will call this episode closed. Uh, so I thank you all for watching. Uh, your input has been invaluable and um, super helpful, and I, uh, I appreciate it dearly. Um, and I plan on, you know, trying to credit you all as much as I can for all of your wonderful ideas. Um, I'm just going to, I have one little last thought here about uh, my turret design. So I want to hammer it home, which is to put, uh, what is this, sandstone? Uh, sandstone blocks between the turrets. For security's sake. That's the last little thing I'll do before the end of this episode. So if you have any comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, you know, anything of that nature, uh, please let me know. I'm always free to answer. And uh, I hope you all tune in next time. So thank you for watching, and adios, everybody.